South Indian cuisine includes the cuisines of the five southern states of India, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Telangana, and the Union territories of Lakshadweep, Pondicherry, and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Similarities and differences among cuisines The similarities among the five states' cuisines include the presence of rice as a staple food, the use of lentils and spices, dried red chilies and fresh green chilies, coconut, and native fruits and vegetables including tamarind, plantain, snake gourd, garlic, and ginger. The four cuisines have much in common and differ primarily in the spiciness of the food. Kerala, Tamil Nadu, South and Coastal Karnataka and most parts of Andhra Pradesh use more rice. People also consume ragi, or finger millet, in large quantities in southern Karnataka. North Karnataka, on the other hand, consumes more bajra, pearl millet, and sorghum, while the Telangana state uses more joar and pearl millet. Consumption of rice is more common among certain Brahmin communities. Andhra food The cuisines of Andhra are the spiciest in all of India. Generous use of chili and tamarind make the dishes tangy and hot. The majority of dishes are vegetable or lentil based. Regional variations The three regions of Andhra Pradesh vary in their cuisines. The Telangana region, which shares borders with central India and Vidharva, has more sorghum and pearl millet based radas in the staple diet. The Rayalaseema district shares borders with eastern Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, and its cuisine has similarities to that of those regions. The more fertile Andhra coastal region has a long coastline along the Bay of Bengal, and its cuisine has a distinctive flavor with the inclusion of seafood. Hyderabad, the capital of Telangana, has its own characteristic cuisine, which is considerably different from other Andhra cuisines. The Nizams patronize the Hyderabadi cuisine, which is very much like the Nawabi and Lucknowi cuisine. The only difference is that the Nizams of Hyderabad prefer their food to be spicier, resulting in the distinct Hyderabadi cuisine, which includes delicacies like kash gosht, raw meat, kibiryani, dum ka merg, chicken cooked in Hyderabadi style, bagara bangan, eggplant, and achari sabzi, vegetable gravy with the taste of pickles. Popular Andhra Telangana dishes Vegetarian Tiffin's breakfast, pasaratu, mung bean pancake, atu, babatlu, pulahora or pulahara, tamarind and lemon rice, upma pickles pachalu, sad face, cut raw mango, pickle, maaya, gongora pachati, pandamira pakayala pachati, tomato pachati, alam, ginger pachati, dosakaya pachati, dosavakaya, chintakaya, tamarind, Curries, koralu, gudivankaya, vendakaya fry, dondakaya fry, cabbage, pesara papu, carrot fry, papu, lentils, varieties, thodakura, amaranth pigeon pea stew, papu, chukakora papu, menthakora papu, palakura papu, spinach, pigeon pea dal, dosakaya, yellow cucumber, pigeon pea stew, tomato, birakaya, sorakaya, Palusu, Palakora Palusu, Sorakaya Palusu, Thodakora Palusu, Anapakaya Palusu, Gongora Palusu Kora Charu, Tomato Charu, Miriala Charu Pepper, Ulava Charu Charu and curd variations, Paruga Pachati, Majiga Charu with Potlakaya, Snake Gourd, Sorakaya, Bottle Gourd Snacks, Sakanalu, Chekalu, Murukulu, Jantakalu, Chakalalu Sweets, Putarakulu, Kaja, Rava Ladu, Bundi Ladu, Pesara Ladu, Sunandalu, Thakudu Ladu, Araselu, Nugula Ladu. Chutney and Pickles Ra Pachati Vankaya Pachati, Dosakaya Vanakaya Pachati, Tomato Pachati, Cabbage Pachati, Pickles of Avakaya, Mango, Usirikaya, Indian Gooseberry, Ginger, Citron, Gongora, Tomato, Garlic. Non vegetarian Hyderabadi biryani and various Hyderabadi meat dishes make up part of Hyderabadi cuisine. The rest of Andhra cuisine has various versions of lamb and chicken, and the coastal region has extensive varieties of seafood. 
Dishes include Kodi Iguru, Chicken Stew, Kodi Palusu, Chicken Gravy, Chepa Palusu, Fish Stew, Fish Fry and Prawn Curry. Karnataka food Karnataka has a very diverse cuisine. Some of the most popular and traditional South Indian breakfast preparations like idli, vada and masala dosa are believed to have originated in the temple streets of Udupi in Karnataka. Described as being the mildest in terms of spice content among the cuisines of the five South Indian states, the traditional cuisine of Karnataka is known for its generous use of jaggery, palm sugar and limited use of chili powder. However, northern Karnataka cuisine, which can be extremely hot in taste, is an exception. Since the percentage of vegetarians in Karnataka is higher than that of other southern states, vegetarian food enjoys widespread popularity. Regional Karnataka cuisine North Karnataka cuisine In North Karnataka, the staple grains are sorghum and pearl millet, along with rice. Rotis made out of these two grains, along with side dishes made of eggplant, fresh spiced salads of vegetables sometimes with raw lentils, spiced and stewed lentils are popular and routinely eaten. North Karnataka people also consume a variety of spicy condiments including chutney powders, shenga puti, garal puti, agassi puti, yellow chutney puti, raw chutneys and pickles. Of all the other regional cuisines in Karnataka, this is known for its fiery spice level and heat. Eateries called Kanavali, often run by families, serve inexpensive but tasty home-style food. Most of them are run by Virashaiva and are vegetarian, but Kanavalas serving non-vegetarian food are not uncommon. North Karnataka is one such geographical area in India with a lower per capita consumption of meat. Coastal Karnataka cuisine The cuisine of coastal Karnataka is marked by widespread use of seafood, coconut and coconut oil. Rice is the staple grain and is the centerpiece of every meal. Gravies called Gassi. In Tulu language made from chicken, fish, meats are served with rice. Lentils and vegetables cooked with coconut, spices and tempered with mustard, curry leaves, and generous asafetida, in a dish called huli, is also served with rice. A rasam-like preparation called saaru is also served with rice. The meal will also contain vegetable side dishes called palia. Other accompaniments include curd-based tambli, sweet tangy gojju, pickles and hapala, sandage priams, or papads. Some of the distinct breakfast foods served here include bun, biscuit roti, goli bhaji, and patrode. Popular pickles dishes include apamidi found in dandali forest, betadinelli, lemon, amatekai, and mixed vegetables. Chutneys include ground nut chutney, coconut chutney, and onion chutney. Koorgi cuisine Koorgi cuisine is very distinct from the other regional cuisines of Karnataka, much like their culture. The hallmark of Koorgi cuisine is the widespread use of pork, game, and meats. Kokum is generously used in their cooking. The staple food remains rice and rice-based preparations like kadambatu, steamed rice dumplings and rice rotis. South Karnataka cuisine the South Karnataka or the Old Mysore cuisine is dominated by ragi, or finger millet, and rice. Ragi in the form of ragi mud of dumplings or steamed rice is the centerpiece of a meal. Often served with these two dishes are vegetable sides or palia, and a selection of soups known as saaru. Items commonly made are gojju, a type of thick sweet and sour gravy with vegetables, upanakai, pickled vegetables, tava, a very mild soup of lentils, sometimes with vegetables, huli, a spiced sour soup of lentils, tamarind, and vegetables, and tili saaru, a type of thin peppery soup, certain preparations like basaru, a spiced soup of lentil stock with vegetables or greens, upasaru, a mild lentil stock based soup often accompanied with a raw chutney, masapu, mashed spiced greens, and masakai, mashed spiced vegetables, are typical homestyle food from South Karnataka. Aver kal, Indian beans, is a popular vegetable consumed during winter. They are used in a variety of dishes including usali, upma, huli, and hitaki de bel saaru. Rice preparations usually served as the second course of a traditional meals include bisi bel bath, chitarana and puliogar, tamarind rice. Dahi yogurt, is a typical part of every meal in all the regions of Karnataka and is probably the most popular dairy product. 
Generally, yogurt with rice constitute the final course of a meal. Buttermilk laced with spices and curry leaves is also served with meals, especially during the summer. Ghee and butter are popular cooking mediums for those who can afford them, and are mostly reserved for festivals and special occasions. Udupi Hotels The credit for popularizing these foods elsewhere in India goes to Udupi Hotels. In North India, Udupi Hotels are often synonymous with South Indian food, even though the range of foods they serve is mostly restricted to the Karnataka cuisine. These small establishments serve inexpensive vegetarian breakfast dishes throughout the day all over India. The hotels are mostly run by people native to the Kanara region. The famous masala dosa traces its origin to Udupi cuisine and was subsequently popularized by Udupi restaurants. Karnataka dishes Karnataka cuisine includes a wide variety of sweets. Belagavi kunda, Mysore pak, obatu, halaj, darwad peta, feni, and chiroti are some of the most popular sweets. Other lesser-known sweets include hungu, kajaya, coconut matai, karjikai, ravund, sahapa, pakata papu, chigali, a variety of kadubas, tambitu, paramana, and hayagriva. Most of these sweets are not milk-based, unlike the popular sweetmaking tradition elsewhere in India, but rather are made using jaggery instead of refined sugar. Some typical breakfast dishes include masala dosa, ragi roti, akki roti, vangibath, menthya bath, tomato bath, kara bath, kesari bath, shavage bath, divanagere ben dosa, upatu, plain, that, plate idli, and rave idli, mysore masala dosa, kadubu, pori, and avalaki. Lunch items include huli, sambar, thili, rasam, kutu, gojju, a delicacy called bisi bel bath, chitarana, kosambri, a type of salad, pachati, and moseru bhaji. Snack items include kodabal, chikali, nipatu, mador vade, aamb vade, gali bhaji, and mangalore bun. Children enjoy the tangy tamarind chigali. Kerala food Kerala cuisine is very diverse, a diversity is best classified on the basis of the various communities. The Syrian Christian dishes and Malabari Muslim dishes are famous. Since Kerala's main export is coconuts, almost all of the dishes, irrespective of the variety in the cuisines of the different communities, have coconuts associated with them, either in the form of shavings or oil extracted from the nut. Seafood is also very popular in the coastal regions and eaten almost every day. Popular Kerala dishes Vegetarian, Olan, Paul Pradaman, Nendarange chips, Avial, Pulisari, Irakari, Sambar, Sadhya, Rasam, Kalan, Upparas, Pachati, Vegetable Stew and Kachati Non-vegetarian, Shrimp Coconut Curry, Fish Curry, various versions depending on the region, Fish Fry, Chicken Fry with Shredded Coconuts, Fish Pickle, Hodimine Fry, Mean Thoran, Fish with Coconut, Karimine, Pearl Spot Fish, Palachathu, Shrimp Masala, Chicken Stew, Mutton Stew, Duck Curry, Malabari Fish Curry, Fish Molly, Kaka, Shells, Thoran, Kalameka, Crabs, Pork Mappas, Pani Mappas, Pork Vindaloo, Pani Vindaloo, Pork Roast, Beef Ulurthiadu, Pothu Ulurthiadu, Malabar Bar Biryani, thalassery biryani, pearl spot fish, jewel fish, mussels, squid, kappa boiled, kappa, tapioca, vivachathu with non-vegetarian curries. Malabar biryani is a rice cuisine using kaima rice instead of basmati rice. This biryani is known as thalassery biryani and is the only variety of biryani in Kerala. Snacks, upari, payasam, banana fry, ethakapam or pazam pori, ulavada, kajakata, avalosunda, unayapam, niapam, unnaka, thira, charitu, boli, madhakam, palvazeka, cutlets, halwas, cakes, vateapam, kinathapam, and iratimaduram. Breakfast, puttu, with banana or kadala curry, egg curry, or beef fry, appam, veliapam, palapam, with curry, vegetable stew, fish moli, chicken or mutton stew, beef curry, duck roast, pork masala, and idiapam, pidi with mutton curry or chicken curry, parota with chicken curry or mutton curry, idli, dose with chutney, kanji with dry beans, pickle, papadam made with black lentils. Typical Indian masala dosa Kerala style, is a combination of shredded, cooked, and fried vegetables with Indian sauce and several spices as the basic stuffing, enveloped by a thick brown dosa made out of a dal and rice batter. 
To embellish this unique preparation, it is served with hot sambar and coconut chutney. Tamil Nadu food A typical Tamil meal consists of many spicy and non-spicy dishes. Many of these dishes are generally mixed and eaten with steamed rice, which is the staple food of the region. Except for Brahmins and a couple of non-Brahmin castes, most Tamilians eat non-vegetarian food. However, on a typical day, a Tamil family will eat mostly vegetarian food, and the intake of meat is lower than in most parts of the world. Restaurants serving Tamil food are traditionally of two types, so-called seva restaurants serving only vegetarian food and so-called a seva restaurant serving both non-vegetarian and vegetarian food. Seva restaurants serve people from all castes and religions. Fresh coffee and tea remain a staple drink served in both restaurants. Tamil cuisine groups dishes under five slightly overlapping categories. Gravy dishes to be mixed in rice. First are the dishes that necessarily are mixed with rice. The subcategories under this head are, kuzambu, sambar, parapu, rasam, and thayir. There is a great variety of dishes under each subcategory. For example, under kuzambu, common dishes include puli kuzambu, vithal kuzambu, molagu kuzambu, payaru kuzambu, and more kuzambu. Non-vegetarian kuzambu include chicken and fish curries are also now commonly mixed with rice meals. Accompaniments Foods in the second category are the side dishes that accompany such mixtures, including kutu, poriyal, varival, thaku, avial, usali, orukai, pickles, badam, vithal, and papadam. Standalone snacks In the third category are the short snacks and their accompaniments, including bada, banda, bhaji, various chutneys, and thayir pachati. Dessert The fourth category encompasses the rich, sweet dishes that serve as desserts, including payasam, kesari, thirukanamidu, sarkarai pongal, akaravadasal, tharati pal and a plethora of other Indian sweets. Fast foods, or light meals The fifth category includes tiffin or light meals, which includes various types of idlis, dos, pori, pongal, upma, idiapam, apam, adai, parota, and paniaram. Preparations from the fifth category are served for breakfast and early dinners, but usually not as a midday meal. Tamil cuisine offers primarily light breakfast, lighter dinner, a heavy midday meal and evening snacks, often served with tea or coffee. The rasam is mixed with rice, usually eaten accompanied by crisps. The last of the courses will invariably be rice with curd or yogurt, usually taken along with pickles. Throughout the meal, the side dishes are served and eaten with the courses, depending upon one's taste or choice. Side dishes are constantly replenished during any meal. Desserts are served as the last course. After the meal, guests retire to the living room and conclude with bananas and freshly made pond, consisting of beetle leaves, beetle nuts and lime. Pawn is considered a digestive aid. Tamil non-vegetarian meals are similar, except that the first and second courses are usually replaced by various biryanis and non-vegetarian gravies. In either case, a typical meal, lunch or dinner, will be served on a banana leaf. Meals are often accompanied by various pickles and apollums. Food is generally classified into six tastes, sweet, sour, salt, bitter, pungent and astringent. A traditional Tamil culinary belief is that one should include all six tastes in each main meal eaten. Each taste has a balancing ability and including some of each provides complete nutrition, minimizes cravings and balances the appetite and digestion. Sweet, milk, butter, sweet cream, wheat, ghee, clarified butter, rice, and honey, sour, limes and lemons, citrus fruits, yogurt, mango, and tamarind, salty, salt or pickles, bitter, bitter gourd, greens of many kinds, turmeric, and fenugreek, pungent, chili peppers, ginger, black pepper, clove, and mustard, astringent, beans, lentils, turmeric, vegetables like cauliflower and cabbage, and cilantro. 
Chetanad cuisine Chetanad cuisine is known for its use of a variety of spices in preparing mainly non-vegetarian food. The dishes are hot and pungent with fresh ground masalas, and topped with a boiled egg that is usually considered an essential part of a meal. They also use a variety of sun-dried meats and salted vegetables, reflecting the dry environment of the region. The meat is restricted to fish, prawn, lobster, crab, chicken and mutton. Chetiers do not eat beef and pork. Most of the dishes are eaten with rice and rice-based accompaniments such as doses, apams, idiopams, adays and idlis. The Chetanad people, through their mercantile contacts with Burma, learned to prepare a type of rice pudding made with sticky red rice. Chetanad cuisine offers a variety of vegetarian and non-vegetarian dishes. Some of the popular vegetarian dishes include idiapam, paniaram, velai paniaram, karapati paniaram, pal paniaram, kuzi paniaram, kosakatai, masala paniaram, adakus, kandarapam, siyam, masala siyam, kavani arisi and atirasam. Popular Chetanad dishes Vegetarian, Keber Kali, Idli, Sambar, Vadai, Rasam, Dosa, Thayir Saddam, Yogurt Rice, Thayir Vadai, Yogurt Soaked Fritters, Kutu, Vegetables in Wet Style, Poriyalt Kari, Vegetables in Dry Style, Maruka, Uthapam, Idiapam, Apalam, Deep Fried Lentil Flour Crisps, and Papadam, Baked Lentil Flour Crisps, Freshly Made Thayir Pachiti, Yogurt Mixed with Fresh Vegetables, Non-vegetarian, Karuvatu Kuzambu, salted, dried fish in sauce, Chetanad pepper chicken, fish fry, and congee with old fish gravy. Image gallery References <laughs>